Welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video. My name is Nadia and I am the creator of Full Style Ink. <sighs> yeah, no, I know. I feel your judgment. I know. I'm in trouble. It's been a while. It's been too long. I know I said I was going to do better this year, but I promise I have no excuses. No whatsoever. So, today's video is just... As you see from the title and the thumb card, I finally made me my first code. Yes! So I want to come in and introduce it before I go into the tutorial. I made me the... Dang. I made me the Clark coat from Mood Patterns using this beautiful boiled wool and this pink mauve color. I absolutely love this coat. I love this coat. I love this coat. I love the coat. It took me almost like a month to complete it. Life going on. And then it took me way too long to film the final reveal. And make this video and get this video up to you guys. We are well into May by the time you see this video. And I am so very sorry. I finished this back in March. Because I wore this coat for I wore this coat for the first time out on Easter Sunday. I love this coat. Um, it is perfect for days such as this. It is a very cold and chilly, breezy day here, and it's perfect for that colder weather. I will be this coat will be making its return to public society come October. November when Chicago decides it wants to get cooler again because right now we're going through bouts of heat waves and then rain heat waves and wave Not the point. The point is I love this coat and I hope you guys love the tutorial. It's gonna be a quick tutorial um, The pattern was pretty straightforward. I did have some stumbling blocks here and there But nothing to set me on the path of frustration like the Zia Zia the Zia blazer um, If you enjoyed this let me know. All right, stylers. As I said, I am using this Clark pattern from Mood, and I have all my pieces cut out. I will be working with this boiled wool in this mauve color and this beautiful peplin print. That's going to add a nice pop on the inside. I have my pattern pieces all cut out. I went in and cut all my notches, marked all my little dots and pins so that everything can be pre-cut. I went away and cut away the flap on the back of my coat from my lining start sewing I started off with doing the welts the double welts for the pockets now I'm not gonna lie the instructions kind of confused me the piece that they had for the they had a list for a pocket welt but they didn't have a piece for it so I just measured it out and created my own pieces for that. Um, I measured out the length and I measured out um, how wide it's making. I just folded it in half. There are there are plenty of videos online on how to do a double welt. I looked those up because I wasn't confident and I did do a sample test. But you're gonna take the welt piece that you fold in half that you fold and so attach that to one side of your markings sew it down and then you're going to take the second piece attach that down then you're going to add the markings on the pocket insert the pocket bag and i'm just going over it with the pen so i can see it clearly so tracing those um same patterns then i'm going to lay this then you will lay this over the pocket welts that you just sewed pinning those into place you can see me here filling underneath it to make sure that it's perfectly lined up then you sew down both sides of the pocket welt over top of what you just sewn attaching this pattern attaching the lining fabric to the pocket webs you're going to cut a slit open you're gonna then go cut a slit opening the pocket itself and tuck 
the lining fabric inside of the pocket welt. Then on the inside of this piece, this is the front piece unattached. You're gonna sew down those end corners so that they lay it flat. Now you're gonna move on to the pocket cover, holding it right sides together, stitching down the side seams only. Turning that right side out, make sure you're poking out those corners and you're gonna give this a nice pressing. Then you're gonna fold this right side up um, facing away from the side seam. Then you're gonna fold it over, press it, and then sew it down, attaching it on the side with it folding down facing the side seam. Hope that made sense. I went through about two needles doing this. My needle, my first needle went dull and was starting and uh, catching until it finally broke. The walking foot did come in handy. Now you're going to sew down your back flap. They said to do a slip stitch. I decided to do a blind hem stitch on my sewing machine. Next, I sewed up my side seams and my shoulder seams of the front part of the jacket. And then now I, you see me here pressing down my, pressing down my seams. Moving on to the sleeves. You're gonna take the sleeves and you, where you cut your notches, you're gonna gather up your sleeve using the pins. This is how you create that volume and that nice puff on the end of your sleeve. Really, really love this detail. I will be reusing the sleeve on other things. You're gonna slow down you're gonna sew down those pleats of your sleeve. And then you're gonna sew your sleeve closed. Once again, I went through and pressed open my um, seams and then I sewed those seams down to help the fabric lay flat. Now moving on to the cups of the sleeve, you're gonna have four pieces, two with interfacing, two with knots. You're gonna sew down the side seams all four of those pieces. Now this is where I got lost again. So I didn't follow this completely through because I didn't understand how to attach both cuffs. Moving on to the coat facing, you're going to take the coat facing with the collar and then the front petal of the actual coat lining. Line those up matching up the shoulder seam. Pin and sew that down along the side seam and the top shoulder sleeve. You're gonna attach that to the back lining of the fabric of the coat. Meet at the shoulder seams and attach it inside your coat. Now, another hiccup I had was with the collar. We have a collar stand and a collar. Well, I sewed the collar stand to the collar, sewed the collar together, but when I went to attach it to my coat, the collar stand was standing out. I don't know what that's about. Maybe I made a mistake. So you can skip this step and just sew the collar together, turn it right side out, poke those um, corners out, give it a nice firm pressing and a top stitch, and then attach it to your coat as normal. I don't know why my camera was filming this way when I was holding it horizontal but it filmed vertically and here's the final result guys a lot of the finishing and the final touches didn't get filmed because I just really wanted to finish this guys so sorry but I really do love how it turned out I know the flaws I know what went wrong but when you're looking at it you can't tell that and I love how you got this pop of this print when it hits and it blows yes let me know what you guys think um me and move patterns we're gonna we're gonna take a break for a while but don't worry i will figure it out i will understand what it is that i'm missing all right guys hope you enjoyed the video Adorable. Is she not super cute? She is fabulous. Fabulous. I love the oversized collar and lapels. I love the sleeve. I love the shape of the sleeves. She does have an oversized kind of boxy fit, and I absolutely love that. I do want to take some of the scrap uh, material I have left over and make like a belt to help her center in. And I'm thinking I may put on buttons. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know, I may do like faux buttons so I don't have to do a buttonhole and do like snaps. Um, however, my only critique, my only critique is that I wish I had known what, how low, like I wish I had known where the pockets would have been placed because I would have went and brought them up probably by like five inches. For me, on my statue, on my height, they are a bit too low. And I kind of don't want them at like my high waist. They're like down by my thighs. And it's just a very awkward fit. Um, awkward like feel for me when I go to put my hands in my pocket and I'm reaching in my pocket. I got to like dig all the way down there. So that's like my only critique as far as like the structure and how, where everything is. I did leave my edges of the coat raw. Uh, because of wool, it doesn't fray. It, I, I didn't mind the raw look on the bottom of the edge. I may go back at a later date and and sew that up. But for right now, I'm leaving it raw. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was, like I said, a quick tutorial. Um, and it just took me way too long to edit. Um, I have some awesome things coming. I do have things planned and scheduled and filmed. I just need to upload them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you love this video, please leave, like it down below. Leave a comment. Tell me what did you love about it. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Hopefully with liking the video, it'll help push out so more people can see this kind of content. I do have some fun DIYs and styling videos and vlogs and hauls coming up for the spring and summer. I love you guys so very much. Remember that you are loved. That you are loved. But most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Woo!